Hello, my name is Bonnie and this is Only One Again. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about Kevin Frankie and his side of the story. A lot of people know about Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand's recent arrest for aggravated child abuse. And many people wanna know, what about the husband? What about the kid's father? Where does he fit in all of this and why hasn't he been arrested? What's his excuse? So we recently heard from Kevin's lawyer and Ruby and Kevin's sisters-in-law. They gave a little bit of an insight into what Kevin's side of the story really is. Most people know by now, Ruby and Kevin Frankie were married for many years. They're a Mormon couple who did family vlogging on their YouTube channel called Eight Passengers. They have six kids together. Four of them are minors. Their older two are 18 and 20 years old. So recently, Kevin's lawyer named Randy Kester went on and did an interview with Law and Crime Network, and he gave a lot of details about what Kevin's side is. Now, whether or not we believe that, you know, it's up to you, but it was interesting to hear his side of the story. Ruby actually phoned Kevin right before she got arrested and said, you know, come and get the kids. This is an emergency. And he said, where are they? And she said, they're in Ivan's. That's where Jody lives. He had no idea that his younger children were actually at Jody's house. And she had taken them there back in May. So they spoke on the phone. And, and when she told him that the police were coming, what did he say? She, she actually didn't say that. She just said, you need to get down here. You need to get down here. And mm -hmm. what did he say about that? He, he said, down where? And when she told him that she was in Ivan's, he responded and said, what are you doing in Ivan's? And was told, she then told him that the kids were down there. Some of the kids were down there and he needed to come down. And uh, he, he said, well, how long have you been in Ivan's? He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't even told that she had taken the kids to Ivan's. Part of the reason why Kevin didn't know any of this is because he hasn't actually been in contact with any of the kids since last July. He and Ruby have been separated for 13 months since July, 2022. Ruby had told Kevin, if you want to save our marriage, then you're not allowed to have any contact with us, with Ruby or any of the children. Was he calling the kids? Because I think what a lot of people are looking at this and they're wondering, well, what did he know? So he might've been living separately from her for 13 months, but he wasn't calling the kids, checking in on the kids, seeing how they're doing. He's the father. I totally understand that. That was the big question on my mind and the big question I, on a lot of people. If you read everything that's in the media, he's getting raked over the coals for that. But what people don't understand is that he was trying to preserve his marriage. He was taking direction from her. She's the one who asked him to leave the house and indicating that in order for him to be able to get back together with her and be a family, that uh, she was requesting that he leave the home and that he not contact them or the children. Later told him that everything was blissful at home. It was so much better without him. Now they have six kids together. I have three kids of my own. I can't imagine as a parent just saying, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll stay out of their lives. It's for the best. But according to a lot of people in his life, he was emotionally manipulated and he was brainwashed by both Ruby and Jody into doing just that, into abandoning his family. And that's the reason why he says he is not, you know, culpable. He shouldn't be arrested because he just didn't know about any of this. He willingly cut off all contact with his kids. You know, that's not a good thing. I personally think that that in itself is completely wrong, but was he aware and responsible for the kids' well-being? Um, did he know that he that the kids were literally tied up and being starved and physically abused? He says no. He his lawyer absolutely is adamant that Kevin has number one never physically abused his kids and number two has never actually been accused of doing that. He doesn't condone physical abuse, and therefore, you know, he is completely innocent. So Ruby actually has brainwashed Kevin into thinking that he was the problem and that the kids and she and the household that were so much better off without him. And she didn't do this alone. She was under the influence of Jody. And Jody actually moved into their marital home and helped to split the couple up. 
which she has been accused of doing to other couples in the past, by the way. So apparently Jody actually moved into the home and insisted that Kevin and Ruby live in separate halves of the house. And Kevin wasn't allowed to actually talk to Ruby unless Jody was present. So then Kevin actually was kicked out or moved out of the family home. And apparently he was told he wasn't allowed to check in on the kids. He wasn't actually allowed to communicate with them. Sherry, who's the oldest daughter, who's 20 years old now, apparently said that her when she tried to phone her father back when he moved out of the home, he completely would not accept any phone calls. He blocked all the kids' numbers. He blocked them on social media. He wouldn't even return her emails. And she says it was because her mom brainwashed him into thinking that he wasn't allowed to have any contact with the kids and they were better off that way. According to the lawyer and the sisters-in-law and other family members, Jody was the one who manipulated the whole situation and was actually victimizing the entire family including Kevin. Now, since the arrest, Kevin has had contact with his older two kids. I have no idea what the outcome of those phone calls were. I don't know how they feel towards him now, but it would be really interesting to hear from the older two kids in terms of how they feel about their father in all of this. Ruby and Kevin's sisters-in-law, so there's Jennifer and Cynthia, they're connected to the family because they're married to Kevin's two brothers. So they're also Frankie's now. They spoke with the media and they gave their, gave their opinion on Ruby and it was not good. They said, if you look up narcissist in the dictionary, you would see Ruby's picture right there. Jennifer even said that she didn't like Ruby right from the beginning. She never liked Ruby. She said that one time Kevin and Ruby came over to her home with the kids and they were all having dinner together. And then after dinner, Jennifer's kids went into the kitchen and grabbed themselves a snack which she was fine with. Those kids offered their cousins, Ruby's kids, something to eat. They offered them a snack too. And Ruby said, absolutely not. And then Ruby uh, scolded Jennifer and said, I can't believe you let your kids run, a run amok in your kitchen. And Jennifer stood up for herself and said, you know, it's my house, my kids, my rules, don't worry about it. And she said they, they hadn't had uh, Kevin or Ruby over since then. She hasn't seen her since then. So it sounds like there was a lot of tension between those uh, sisters-in-law for a while now. They think that their brother-in-law, Kevin, is, you know, the innocent one in this. They said that definitely Ruby is the one that's the problem. But they said that her behavior drastically got worse once Jody entered the picture. And a lot of people have been saying that as well. Sherry told Jennifer that she agreed that she thinks um, Kevin has been brainwashed into abandoning his family, into thinking that he was a big problem and that he needed to keep his distance from everybody to help the situation. Also, the sisters-in-law do not believe Ruby's allegations of SA at all. They said that they don't believe it and they also think that Ruby should be locked up forever. If you are familiar at all with the Eight Passengers videos, if you were you know, originally a fan or if you've seen all those video clips that have been coming out recently in the news, you know that Kevin is not innocent in all of this. In my opinion, and if you look at the videos, you can see that he was there alongside Ruby for a lot of these extreme parenting decisions for a lot of these punishments that people have been concerned with for a while. I think that he is responsible for a lot of this. I do not think that he necessarily knew the extreme physical abuse that was going on at Jody's. I don't think that he was aware and that's a problem. I think that he should have fought harder personally. I think that he shouldn't have stayed out of his six kids lives for 13 months and just left them in the hands of Jody and Ruby, who he already knew were problematic. I don't think that he is innocent in all of this, but like a lot of people have said in my TikTok, they don't think that Kevin is innocent in all of this. And, and just like, for example, he was the one who went right along with sending Chad to that teen wilderness camp. He was fine with taking the kids, um, you know, homework. Remember that video of them gathering up all the kids junk and then saying okay you need to earn this back or we're throwing it in the garbage and the kids were like that's my homework that i left in the van and they said well then you're gonna have to pay money or do chores to earn it back i mean all of these things that are were really extreme that people thought were problematic kevin was right there along with it 
So I, I don't think that he's innocent, but I do see his point that he was not necessarily aware of the um, recent abuse. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me here and I will see you next time.